I genuinely miss miss changing discs for yeah. games. And there are only a few PlayStation games I ever owned that did it, and I think they're all Square RPGs. Mm-hmm. There's just a feeling of you know, well, obviously of pause when you go yeah. to do it, but you're like, fuck. Mm-hmm. If it's if it's a paced right where it's like a major story beat, yeah. you're like, oh my god, do I, I, you have to take a moment to put the next disc mm-hmm. in. And we must ready the mayonnaise vats. And the <laughs> no, I won't be needing the mayonnaise vats anymore. <laughs> what about the ham cylinders? No, the ham cylinders can also be retired, I fear. I don't want to be a fat queen. But the coronation involves drinking down 50 gallons of mayonnaise. I think I'll end that tradition that my mother started. We, re- we literally need you to fill your mother's shoes. <laughs> Just get the cobbler to make new ones. His heavy now that they're out of the boat, his heavy armor starts to tip the boat back. <laughs> He's oh no, oh no, oh no. And then it cuts to black. What <laughs> oh, jeez. We ain't seen each other in ages. Why the sour puss, partner? <laughs> oh, are you depressed because you got dumped by the queen? Ruby's like, what's going on? I got my boobs out and everything, and he doesn't care. <laughs> it's not like you at all, Zidane. You're normally a hit it and quit it type. We to ruin things, Riggs. Now we gotta do it all over again. This fucking drawing of Quinna. <laughs> even, even a uh, Durf bow is all composed in these drawings, and then Quinna just has this crazy tongue going on. <laughs> These are nice little drawings. Yeah. Oops, sorry, freak. <laughs> hey, Phoebe! Oh, hey, little freak. Haven't seen you in a while. Freak. I feel like when he was designing uh, Freya, he was like, I dare you people to want to fuck this. <laughs> uh, I've been getting a lot of feedback lately about how everyone wants to fuck my characters. Because, I mean, you look at these these drawings of Dagger, and it's like, okay. And then it draws that, like, the, the counterbalance. I set it upon myself to make the most unfuckable character in all of Japanese RPG history. It's after, yeah, after he drew Beatrix and Dagger, he was like, I gotta, I gotta karmically balance this game. Remember these guys? These assholes. With their clamp hands? And Gennaro. Zanero. And... Bo, I think the other, Zanero, Banero, there it is. Like this delicious fish. You're thinking of Benitos. I don't think I am. Are they like a, the frozen pizza trio? I think so. Actually, I think there's nine of them total. To fly high. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember to take a photo of this, I'll post it, but it's some concept art of Zidane, and he's holding his dagger like it's a dick, and he's even touching the tip of it like it's a dick. And it's like in... Pers- like, force perspective. <laughs> so it's coming like, at you. Like it's- yeah, and you're kind of looking up at yeah. him. He's looking down at you, like, yeah, you want that? You know you want it. <laughs> he had a lot of fun with some of this art. Yeah. Like this one, where it looks like Zidane's trying to give you a fist bump. Art you see them. Almost, uh... Almost Disney-ish in a way. Oh, very much so, yeah. For this one. 
like the a few more lines and a bit more exaggeration in the proportions in that Disney way. Mm -hmm. And uh, these would just be Disney characters. You wouldn't know the difference. This is decent pacing. All this shit just went down. The helmet went nuclear in Bronze face, but she was fine for a few minutes somehow. Let's just decompress. <laughs> Let's just take it down a notch. And now we're back let's, here. Let's, let's just break out that titanium <clears throat> white. And, uh... Yeah. Now we're back here as VV running yeah. around before. Or like we did before. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> you were even going back to, uh, well, we never went here before, but to Ruby's new theater. Oh, there's even concept art of Ruby. Oh, nice. Yeah, this was the first time, well, not the first time, I guess with 8 and 7 they were as well, but I think this is the, this is the most that the characters ever looked like the concept art. Yeah. Like, that's just oh, here's blank the, and there's those fuckers. Gennaro and, yeah. and whatever. Like, they certainly exaggerated some of them more than others. I mean, in here, blanks, uh, oh, he does just have patches on his skin. That's weird. Huh. Mm. But, mm. Mm. It's fucking weird. But yeah, Ruby is hot and blue. Yeah, Ruby is hot and yeah. blue. And has way better hair than Ariel. Yeah. Fuck Ariel. Ariel's hair pisses me. I've said it before. It just Have pisses you? Me. Yeah. <laughs> At some point I've said how much I hate Ariel's hair. <laughs> it's so stupidly drawn. I hate yeah. it. Every animation student will like fucking come in their oh, oh jeans god. Oh, over. Oh god, I I remember uh, my senior year of yeah my senior year of um film school, uh right before what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Brave. Right okay, before Brave yeah. came out, all my film student friends were just coming in their pants over. Uh, the, all the animation on what's her face's hair. Oh, yeah, I can't remember her name. Nobody can remember that. her name. Everyone just forgets <laughs> about Brave because it was the first Pixar movie besides Cars that you watched and you went, okay. Edna? No. No, that's not. Midna? I think no. it's. I, no, I think it is Midna. Is it? I think it is Midna. Isn't that, is Midna. Isn't that the name on Zelda, too? The, yeah, it is, but I think, I think it is okay. Midna. It's probably from a similar yeah. origin. But because uh, there's a moment where she has on like her princess clothes that she doesn't like, and she's kind of like pulling at her cap or something, and I guess there's a thread on fucking Tumblr. It, this this bit's fun. I'm like, all right, let's get changed, and Steiner's just standing in, standing there like adult. <laughs> I think we've all had a moment like that where we didn't realize that we should probably leave, and then someone does the equivalent of ahem, gets the long hook out and drags yeah. you off. <laughs> Even you agree with Steiner. But uh, there's a moment where Minna, whatever her fucking name is, just is like tuck. I think she's trying to tuck her hair into her cap or something. And there's a thread of everyone just commenting on the little bits of animation in that moment, which I think is that movie in a nutshell, and that thing with Ariel's hair in a nutshell, where people will focus so heavily on the technical aspect of something that they'll completely overlook the actual artistic merits yeah of the whole piece it's like this isn't the painting this is a movie i'm reading that book i borrowed from bob uh it's gabrielle hamilton's book <laughs> there's kuja's crotch why and uh she's just this badass chef and at one point in her life she went to school to be a writer mm -hmm. and she was at this writing writers party thing where they're all sitting around and reading each other's po or reading poetry to each other and this one girl like pulls out this notebook that was this parchment and it was like this really you know fancy notebook and you know just really shitty poetry mm -hmm. but with like references that she had to explain to everybody okay, like yeah even if people uh -huh. knew it. and she was just <laughs> she's like the and, and caring more about how it was read than the content of the poem itself. Uh, yeah. And she was like, that's when I realized I didn't want to be a part of this anymore. <laughs> and they cared more about what it was written on yeah. than what they were writing. And it's, yeah, 
makes me think of that. Yeah, let me get my Moleskine a notebook versus let me get out the two dollar Steino pad yeah. I bought at Fred Meyer. Like, let me get this extremely expensive and ornate notebook and this pen, and I have to write this thing perfectly the first yeah. time. <laughs> it's like, you know, there's some good, an obviously it's a Disney movie, a Little Mermaid has some beautiful animation, but it just Ariel's big dumb hair loop on her head is <laughs> just so dumb looking. <laughs> So now we're learning a little bit more about the backstory. We had that cutscene right at the start when Garnet woke up in her fucking sun nightmare uh, where she dreamt of being on that boat in the mm, sea. Yeah. And apparently she washed up on the docks of Alexandria and she looked just like Princess Garnet who had recently died. Ah. And she had a horn. So they cut that shit off. Yeah. So no one would know. That's fine. Yeah. Why does Amaranth look like that? Yeah, the concept art looks cool. That's like, a character I want on the party. But instead he's green. With with huge forearms. Like, how do they nail the concept art for everyone else? And then with Amaranth, it's just... I, I just, I don't understand. Like, they found that Steiner concept art. Yeah. It's like, okay, I get, I see where they had to make some changes to make it fit in game. Oh, sure, to make it work with this style. Because the, the, these, these are human proportions that we're looking at here. Those are not. Yeah. Right? And that's exaggerated to compensate for the PS1's processing power and to give it, but still make it appealing visually. And they fucking knocked it out of the park. But you can see how that translates into Steiner, or how that translates into Freya. And then you get to... You get to fucking Amaranth Coral. Salamander Coral, apparently. And it, they just did not do it. Also, I think I noted in an earlier one, but in this concept art, they all have a little animal yeah. around them. And I think that's supposed to be like a monster version of the character, and... I, I, want, I wonder if that was supposed to be... If that was an early design idea they had, like, the characters would have a little companion with them, or if he was just like, hey, this would be a fun toy you can make and sell. Yeah. Because I would buy every one of these damn things if they made them. This little, like, bomb version of Steiner. Yeah, just like little... <laughs> they're, they're, they are cute. Yeah, they're adorable. Oh man, I wasn't paying attention. Now what do I do? Oh. You gotta just run uh, back in the town with this letter. It's down here? Yeah, because Ike was like, I know, I'll get this old man to write, uh... No, just back that way. This way? Yeah. Ike was like, I'll get this old man to write a letter for this young man that I'm in love with, even though I'm six years old. And now she wants to deliver it to him, and somehow Baku is up here. I think he was in the kitchens. Also, how in the world is that bronze official portrait up there? Yeah. This fucking evil clown drawing. Which, by the way, is more frightening than anything I've seen with the upcoming remake of It. <laughs> Can't stop looking at the concept art for Dagger. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's really good. It's so good. Oh, I should go get my pervert box. <laughs> when I say my pervert box. box. Yeah. <laughs> When I say my pervert box, I'm referring to my pinup calendar that just came in, viewer. <laughs> Not my box full of pornography. It's better than porn. It's classy. <laughs> like painted and stuff. I'm pretty sure the Knights of Pluto are wearing like the the one piece men's underwear you sometimes see in old movies. Oh yeah. Almost the like the striped bathing suit, yeah. but it's just a pale beige, so it's extra gross cuz yeah. it looks like cadaver skin. <laughs> and hopefully it's got that butt flap. It's got yeah, 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 for for emergencies. It's basically a romper. <laughs> oh. Oh, I hate the internet. Romper with a butt flap. Yeah. Men rompers, it's all the rage. Hmm. At least we forgot about that and started talking about Despacito. Um, Which, fortunately, that's on its way out. And what is that? What? That's the, the song that the guy sings in Spanish, and he says, that's how um, we do it down in Puerto Rico. And when he says, that's how we do it down in Puerto Rico, he's talking about coming on your face. And then some real shit happened in the world, and thankfully everyone stopped talking about fucking rompers when a yeah. hurricane hit. Thankfully, there were Nazis in a hurricane, and so we were like, oh yeah, there's real shit in the world. 
We can forget about the men's rompers for a while. I forget what they were calling those, but I know it was some terrible portmanteau. Romp males. Something like that. Romp stirs. <laughs> so it was Steiner. I think she said sigh. I don't think she actually sighed. And my heart is full of sorrow. Why? So she, uh, is it because I have no one left to murder? <laughs> Must I stalk the streets at night? So she's going to read this letter and think yeah. it's from Steiner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love this little bit. I love this little bit. It's so dumb and fun. In a way that 8 didn't have in its entire runtime. Fucking 8 had zero fun. 8 had zero fun. The only fun it had is when, uh, what's his name was choking on a <laughs> hot dog at the end. I know, that, that, that last little bit during the credits, that was the only fun the game had. Yeah, that's just like, where was this game the whole time? <laughs> yeah, like Garland, that is just, that is a fucking Disney character. That's it, yeah. yeah. Just this luscious cloak. Long, tall, thin frame. God, Zidane, how long have you have you at least ordered anything? <laughs> her smile, her voice, it's like a beautiful song. I'm so <laughs> into the sky, and then the, the the waitress is like, man, you suck at this. If you want to keep using the Wi-Fi, you have to at least buy something. <laughs> now I'm almost finished my live journal blog. It's choking up the bandwidth for everyone else. <laughs> Punches him in the dick. Yeah. He's a treasure together. Very much treasure lying around the world, boy. You've been taking it all. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Maybe some of us want an Ultima Blade. You ever think about that? Huh? Old Blank there was saying how much he wants a Brigandine. Huh? You took one, then you stole one from that tree monster? Do you really need two brigandines? I mean, you probably synthesize them into one. something. And you're wearing one, so now Blank can never have a brigandine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, why can't you be more like Vivi? Just admit to everyone you want to you make the monster with two backs. <laughs> but specifically with Dagger, because she's got that butt. You know, you've been staring I mean, at I'm looking butt at, the whole time. I mean, I'm looking at this concept art. I am looking at this concept art, and it's just like... A yeah. lovingly crafted rear end. Like he, yeah. Something I appreciate about Ten, and we'll get there frighteningly fast, um, is that the the impetus for the relationship between Titus and Yuna is that they're attractive young people who saw each other at a party oh, and were yeah. like, oh yeah, they're hot. Baku lost the letter and doesn't give a fuck. He probably let it slip from his <laughs> yeah. fingers on purpose. So let's go back to the castle. Oh, old man's walking so slow. <laughs> Doug's item shop. Alright, is it this one? Yeah, yeah, just keep going north. Straight, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we gotta remember to call Brian tonight. I, I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> remind us later after we get dinner, like nine or ten. Yeah, why is he like green and blue and shitty looking when the concept art is just a regular dude wearing like camo pants yeah. and stuff? Why isn't he this? What happened? I'm not asking that rhetorically. I want to know what happened. Because, again, Freya translates almost one-to-one. -one. There's no reason he could not. There's no reason he couldn't at least have a human skin tone and regular forearms. It's like, the, would, would the black have been too messed up looking? Like, too muddy? I could, I could get that. I could see that. Maybe they just... You don't really see a lot of blacks and grays that I can think of. I mean, there are exceptions, obviously. There's fucking Squall's dumb jacket, of course. And Zack's hair, but... There's, there's no way that was the best option. Did, did somebody fuck up the sliders? <laughs> was it like when uh, uh, the, the guy who made Minecraft was trying to make a pig? 
where you put like the x coordinates and the y coordinates and vice versa and so instead of being long and low it was tall <laughs> and thin and that became the creeper because it looked so weird He just starts peeing into the water while yeah. sitting down. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> just arcing. Oh, arcing, arcing but then, of course, the arc gets uh, smaller, and so it just uh, puddles up. <laughs> Maybe we should just leave him. <laughs> uh, we just leave him. No, guys, let me just dip myself in this river for a bit. There we go. There we go. Dagger won't notice that my entire lower body is soaked. Yeah, I'm sure they'll just let us be team into the castle. Well, one member of the C team. <laughs> nice new boat for us to ride. Mm -hmm. Come on. Look, I didn't join the army to pilot this fucking boat. We were just getting on already. animation took a long time. <laughs> yeah. Throw this child out. <laughs> hey, because he hasn't met her yet. Well, he knows, even though she's clearly a, a player character, uh, she's just some random kid who found her way in. You are, well, you're not a liar, but you are a loudmouth and a brat. So that's fair. Why does he look like God, that? his head and face is so... Why does it look like that? Why is there like a 90 degree angle where his hair and face meet? I just don't... <laughs> I just can't deal with it. Like, his, does his forehead just stretch out? What's going on? Like, Zidane's hair isn't doing anything weird like that. No one else is doing anything weird like that. Why is he the only one? Why is it... Defying gravity in that way. Wouldn't it have made more sense if it was just like, you know, more of an afro on his head? Like more of just yeah. like a, you know, polygonal sort of sphere? Yeah, that would have made a lot more sense. And maybe it wouldn't look like such shit. She's on a rail right now. She has no actual walk in. Yeah. <laughs> she just. <laughs> oh, Splendid. Zidane, have you nothing to say? Uh, you look shitty. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Dork. <laughs> <laughs> and then Beatrix leans in. That means he likes you. And then Garnet looks confused, and then Beatrice is like, I know, boys are fucking dumb. He looks over at Steiner, and he's doing the thumb trick. But he's doing it wrong and confusing yeah. himself, like scratching his helmet. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then he does it right once, and then freaks out. My thumb, my thumb, oh. Ooh. I wish Steiner had body tackled Ico like the Secret Service. <laughs> he's got a gun! So they, they exchange the two jewels that they have, and I wish they kept doing it the way that con men will do, where they try to confuse tellers. Yeah. Like, you give me your two jewels. Okay, I'll give you this one. You give me that one. No, you give me the five. I'll give you the jewel back. Now you give me the five. <laughs> I'll take the jewel. And now you get the pubes. Now you turn around. <laughs> keep them closed. <laughs> count to a hundred. Yeah. Slower. They actually did that really well in that episode of South Park, Scott Tenner, uh, Scott Tennerman Must Die. Uh, I don't remember that one. Uh, it, it was later on, but it was, before, it was before South Park got bad. I think it was season six or seven. Uh, Cartman buys pubes from a kid called Scott Tennerman, and the whole episode is him trying to get his, his money back. And he ends up oh, killing the kid's parents yeah. and feeding them to him and chili. But then doesn't he find out later that the 
his parents think, that was actually his dad th- or something? I think in a later episode, yeah, a much later episode that I've never seen, I think he realized that Scott Tinnerman is his half-brother. So either one of those was his, his father or his mother is also Scott Tinnerman's mom, one of those. But again, I, that was after South yeah. Park got bad. Oh god. Oh god, this fucking silent film shit going on. Somehow the love letter <laughs> found its way into Blank's hands. Well, just read it. I bet she's beautiful. I bet she's not like some old man with a three foot long nose and giant glasses. That's impossible. <laughs> this music. Like, they went to Naboo Imasu, and they're like, okay, we need music to score a uh, wacky slapstick romantic comedy moment. And he's like, I got you, fam. <laughs> and Steiner, is he gonna read this shit? Oh, yeah, is yeah he is. Piece of paper. I'll have to eat it. Cuts to a letter in his hand, and it turns from, like, legible writing to squiggles <laughs> and animal drawings because he can't read. It's just... Yeah, to that, but they keep shifting. That just turns to a screaming demon. <laughs> His letters genuinely frighten him. <laughs> Who wrote it to whom? <laughs> Steiner, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. But, like, if Steiner hadn't happened to be on patrol at this moment, Beatrix would just assume he had stood her up. Steiner. Beatrix. Steiner. Beatrix. Steiner? Beatrix? Steiner. Hey, Beatrix! <laughs> Stein, Stein the Steiner man! <laughs> BB the Beatrix woman! I think Beatrix is embarrassed. Yeah, she ought to be. It's like, what was I do? What was I about to do? Oh. I was about to spend the 20 minutes it takes to get that man out of his armor. <laughs> and then 10 extra minutes it takes to hose him off in that fountain. It was oh, God. Man. How long has he been wearing it? What does he look like underneath? <laughs> Once in a while, there's a description of Master Chief inside his armor, and it's terrible. Because he literally never takes it off. He's, he's described as like a pale thing that lives in a cave. Ugh. Like, probably like uh, when you get your arm out of a cast. Ooh. Except maybe not as atrophied yeah. and scrawny, but that kind of like... Just pale and has not seen any sunlight. And, and, and a little bit withered and pruney, I'm guessing. And a good fingernail scratch will take off a good yeah. know, layer. Ooh. Ugh. Then actually hurting on the inside from how Zidane <laughs> rejected me. <laughs> it's hilarious because it's so straightforward yeah. and true. <laughs> she's just she's six. I know. <laughs> she's fucking six years old. Don't worry, kid. You got a whole lifetime of rejection ahead of you. Or you can just not pursue relationships and not worry about that. <laughs> the choice is yours as top flies away yeah. somehow <laughs> really there's enough people in the world that you have no moral obligation to reproduce so I don't know I want to go tough sure you know huh guess I'll tag along because it's not like I have friends but I'll act like I don't really care about any of y'all 